Just came back from from the bank. I had to deposit money. You know, I recently received a letter from the government and I have to pay four times the amount of the money that I had to pay them last year. Rent went up, water went up, everything. And it's still milking me. I'm just a single person household. Don't have any property in Belgium. It's crazy. So I cannot believe it. You know, they did. Why? I just, you know, I just opened a mailbox now and then and this is what I get to see I gotta pay 400 443 euros 3 cents within 48 hours oh, I'm already too late and yeah it's it's just ridiculous I'm just um yeah, I'm really sad, you know, I'm sad, mad, and <laughs> pissed off. These people, these people, they tried to fuck me over last year, They're trying to charge me money for driving a car I didn't own, I didn't have. You know, and basically they can check license plates, whether it registered or not on your name, with your with your social number, you know, your, your governmental number, your register number. And instead of doing that, they, they push me like, you know, if you're not going to pay, we're going to challenge you to court. You got to pay all these expenses. And all that. And I'm like, fuck you, you know. So I proved, I showed them true evidence that I use public transport and I do not uh, have a, or own a car, have never owned a car. But they didn't want to believe me. They're just lazy. Every department, they work separately. You know, they don't even put in the time and the effort to connect one another just to come into terms with it. And then I normally would have had to go to a whole procedure of going to the police and all that stuff. to get all that paperwork and pay for it. And I was like, no, I'm not going to do that. So I won that case. And then they still asked me out of the 280 euros to pay 80 euros that I still owe them. I was like, okay, fine. You know, 80 euros is kind of reasonable. But now, for working one hour and a half extra a couple of months throughout the year 2023 2024 and maybe i made like i don't know thousand euros extra 800 euros extra i have to give back half of it so basically what they're doing is they're just telling you you know what we're gonna fuck you for making more money and we're gonna take half of it and like what was the point of me making that money trying to save a bit if I have to give it back at the end of the year? Like, are you kidding me? I'm so sick. I'm, I'm really honestly, like I'm, I'm going to the gym right now, but I'm just, I wanted to make this quick video just to shout this because I'm really pissed off. And the park is flooded with people. It's like people don't have to work or anything. You know, what the fuck is going on? Like, I, I can't even find space to talk calmly without having to have people interfere in the background, become like side characters to the video. So I'm, I'm really pissed off. I'm so sick and tired of this country because I know what that money is going to be used for. If you if you Google it, um, Provence taxes, personal taxes, uh, governmental taxes, uh, city taxes, council taxes, like taxes. Every, every, like living in this city, I have to pay taxes. Living in the province, I have to pay taxes. Living in the country, I have to pay taxes. And then I have governmental taxes concerning work. You know, like if you... So I'm so sick and tired, you know, of this country living here. But the money they're going to use that for all these these five forms of taxes. Taxes, You know, you got to pay taxes to live in the city. You got to pay taxes to be part of a, of a union of cities. You got to pay taxes because you live in a country. You got to pay taxes because you're registered in that country. Like, how many taxes, how many types of taxes are you going to charge me? I'm already paying taxes on everything. Things I buy, things I sell, things I own. Well, own. I don't have that much <laughs> to begin with. You know, at least, you know, here, you know, um, so it doesn't doesn't make any sense. It's like basically the less you own, the less they can take from you. But apparently they can still fuck with you if they want to. So my point, my point is in this frustration is that money, honest to God, is going to be used. Is going to be used for refugees, for immigrants, for asylum seekers. That's what the money is going to. How, how do you declare that I go from 70 euros because of the miscalculation last time to 450 euros in one year 
And then everything you're hearing about and reading about and seeing about, it's all about the mass importation of refugees, an influx of refugees. Thousands. So how, how do you declare that? How, how do you clarify that? How, how do you do that? That's my question. So that makes sense. If they all of a sudden need all that money to do whatever they're doing, then they're going to take it from the normal people. And what I just think is insane is like, I'm just one guy by myself. I don't have a car. I'm renting an apartment. The apartment went up in price as well. We 100 euros in one fucking year. Like everybody is just milking each other out and everybody think it's normal. I'm so fuck, fucking, you know, it just pisses me off. And I just found, I think it's a fig. Holy moly. There is a fig tree here. What the hell? Well, that reminds me of my home. My actual home in Bulgaria. God, God almighty. Like, it really pisses me off, man. You know, and I got two, I got three cats to feed. I got myself to feed. I'm, I'm really squeezing it tight, you know, and I'm so done with it. And I can't find a little peaceful spot before people just stalking me the entire time. So I'm going to pay the money. I'm going to transfer the money after I come back from the gym and I cool down. And yeah, I don't, you know, I don't know, honestly, you know, like I just, it sets me back again. Now it forces me, you know, there are like two obstacles now. It's, it sets me back financially because that money I could have used for things like, you know, like I said, paying the transport of all my stuff, the moving of my stuff. Uh, paying for the Airbnbs, paying for the cats to get them vaccinated, to get them treated, to get them, you know, chipped. Like all that stuff, I still need to go through. I need a washing machine, I need a fridge, fridges, I need a freezer, a freezer box. And, you know, what the fuck is this with people? I'm really pissed. I can't get one minute of the time for myself. You got your people jogging, you got people with dogs, you got elderly people. Like, it's like, you know what? Why am I even working? Why am I? Why am I even? Work? Why am I working if I have to be paying that amount of money? You know, I'm, there's so many people that just come in here. Literally, I can I can testify. You know, I, I've seen them. Just get in here. You get free housing. Housing gets paid for you. Um, food gets paid for you. Everything gets paid. Water, electricity, housing, internet. You know, I'm like, what the fuck, man? Like, that money that I'm that they're taking from me. They're using it to be how otherwise can these people be served and provided for it's because I'm paying their fucking money I'm literally paying their bills You know and how much I care about other people and how much I want people To be equally treated in a way that they also have all the essentials The only thing I do not like is when people Forcefully take my money doesn't I don't care what institute they forcefully take my money and use it against the fact that I might agree or not agree with it i have no say over what happens to that money but they're gonna take it anyways and they're gonna justify it because their government they're the government like you know fuck you man I'm, I'm so tired i mean there are responsibilities and i do know i understand that i know these con some contributions are legit and it does make sense you know, if it comes, for example, to the medical and all that stuff and the care and pension and all that. I mean, I'm all very aware of that. I don't have any issues with also children, schooling, all that stuff. Okay, you know, fair enough. You know, see it as caring for the elderly and investing in the future of children. But this nonsense? No, man. I wish I left already, like, in May. But the lack of money is what kept me. And now I have the border checks that are going to last for six months. So I have to calculate everything, you know, so I can leave in time. And yeah, you know, it's going to be a hassle in my castle, but I don't have any choice. I, I just have to calculate everything and just stay a little longer than, but not longer than, you know, not. I can't do it during the summer vacation because of the heat and transport. And I, you know, I can't do it any... Um, Oh man, I don't have any privacy, you know, like I'm, I'm getting really sick and tired of people just bouncing around constantly. Um, you know, like I don't, I don't, I can't go during the summer vacation because of the heat. Think about the cats and all that stuff. I can't go after summer vacation because then there is a new law 
that requires um, you know these ideas concerning concerning vaccinations you know to be up to date to be able to travel across borders you know like so they're really narrowing down so my time margin is very slim but I have to be very precise you know work the same thing I have to work at least five more weeks before I can stop the job I don't know how long it's gonna take for the remote job to kick in because of the summer vacation as well I hope I don't have to wait until September or October because that would leave me two months without wages and I don't know if you know I'm gonna have enough support of, you know on YouTube to, to, to make ends meet even if I'm living cheaper it's just gonna still gonna be a, a burden you know like I'm I'm actually at the verge of breaking down in a way because it's just so frustrating you know I just I just calculated it just give me six months let me save 300 euros every month you know I just want my 10k at the end of May so I can pay for everything and also not have to stress out about anything else for the meantime and now they're just fucking me on all sides because you know what we're official we are allowed to do that like how how do you justify any of that like that's when my Robin Hood instinct kicks in and I want to just you know get these people on trial for these types of crimes and give back to the people that need it the most you know from these filthy you know these filthy people these evil e evil people selfish greedy narcissist evil people i'm so sick and tired of it you know belgium you know turning into a fucking cesspool i'll be very honest eh? the more negativity I experience you know also a part of life you know and i'm accepting of that i'm not not complaining about that so i'm just saying look everybody has to go through some type of negativity some social struggle financial struggle i'm not the exception and i'm aware of that but the point is that if i'm just doing what i'm supposed to do and keeping a low profile why do they always gotta seek me out why do they always gotta fuck with me i'm so tired of them doing that and you know i, I apologize for my language but i just i'm just so pissed off you know they they they, they, they can justify anything they can do whatever they want, you know, and they're gonna threaten you in their fucking letters as well. You know, if you don't pay, you know, legal procedures, you're gonna pay everything that comes with them. But like, are you kidding me? If I don't have the money, what do you expect, man? It's like I just have to magically spawn money. You have an unlimited source of money. I don't have an unlimited source of money. What are you talking about? You're mixing things up. But yeah, you know, like I said, it's they're just. You know, I would really love to see the fucking country burn down to a crisp with all the corruption. Because I'm so tired of it. I don't want to be constantly being the victim. I don't want to play any victim court. And I don't want to be put in a position either. I don't want to struggle and suffer because the government is just fucking around. <laughs> you know, because leadership fails. I'm so, I'm really tired of it. I'm, I cannot wait. Like, I'm really counting the months. Like, okay, I'll add one more month to it, give it seven months, and then I'm fucking out, and I'm never coming back. Really, I'm never, ever coming back. I'm never returning. And for my sake, this place can burn down to a crisp and everybody in it. I mean, I feel really bad for, for good people and stuff like that. But that's when survival and, you know, uh, healthy selfishness kicks in. I can't stay and wait and be a part of a casualty. That's not what I can. And it reminds me of that song of Psalm 41, you know? don't fall in line be another casualty of society of the conformity you know like that's the thing you cannot wait until it happens you know that's kind of my message my motivation here and like i said i, I when my blood starts to boil when my patience runs out then i'm done as well i'm not gonna be no no bitch to no no government for just doing the normal stuff i'm not i'm I have no nothing I have nothing here nothing of high value and they're gonna fuck with me still you know what I mean that's just where it just hits the wall it blows my mind you know and I'm so tired I have what I need elsewhere you know all I need is just the funds to be able to start properly it's sad again that I'm standing alone once more in life with all these things after fucking struggle all by myself again but you know what when these six months are over, when I saved enough money, when I really did all I can, you know, I'm just gonna have to reduce any type of spending and I lost half an hour, I guess. Um, I have to go to the gym, but 
the point is uh it it just it has to end you know and i'm ending it I'm, I, I can't stay here anymore it's really pushing my limits i can understand an increase but come on man this wasn't an increase on anything concerning my income this was just taxation solemn legit traditional and excessive taxation and that's the thing i'm so tired of the the money that i wasting that i'm wasting now i could have used and invested properly and wisely elsewhere and that's why it pisses me off that's why it makes me so angry because that's money wasted my opinion and i'm not gonna see that back and i'm so sick and tired of it i'm really i'm really sick and tired of it